It's cafecito time. Today I'm coming to you from my kitchen once again with a new drink recipe. And today we're uh, changing it up a little bit and we're doing some chai tea latte, but we're going to make it a little bit dirty. So make sure you watch. It's cafecito time. And today I have a special treat. It's actually more like tecito time because I'm going to show you uh, alternative to coffee. Well, let's just say it still uses coffee, but it's a little bit different today. Today, I'm going to show you how I make a chai tea latte. I was introduced to chai tea many, many years ago by the lady who would thread my eyebrows. We would go get our eyebrows threaded at her house. She had a salon and she would tell us to come Sunday mornings because that was the best time for her to work on our eyebrows. So we would go to her house and she was very nice and she would always offer us chai tea. I had never tried, this was, I want to say almost 20 years ago, never tried it before. She made some for us on the spot, brought it over and I didn't know what to expect. I knew what tea was, but I never heard of or tried chai tea. And it was actually very, very delicious. Fast forward a few years later, um, Starbucks started selling chai tea, which was pretty good. And then a friend once asked me if I had tried the dirty chai. Dirty chai, <laughs> that didn't sound too good to me. Uh, I don't think I want to try a dirty chai. She explained to me it's a chai tea with coffee or a shot of espresso. That intrigued me so Today, I'm going to show you my version of a dirty chai tea latte. So this is how you make it. You can obviously brew your own chai tea at home. If you have um, chai tea, go ahead and brew your tea as directed. What I did was I bought this chai tea latte concentrate and I found this at one of my favorite stores. Aldi and it's basically a black tea concentrate that is a rich blend of black tea, ginger, cardamom, clove, anise, and nutmeg, which are lovely spices that I love. So this concentrate, you can use it hot or cold and it's very easy to make. All you have to do is equal parts of concentrate and milk and today I'm using Almond milk, you can use any milk you like, milk alternative, oat, soy, coconut, um, almond, I like almond milk, so, or regular milk. You could also use regular dairy milk as well, no problem. Um, so what I have here are my ingredients and I already measured everything out and I'm going to make it cold today because it's summertime, it's hot. I need something cool cold and refreshing. So put these to the side. So besides the concentrate and your milk of choice, you're also going to need some ice, of course, and a shot of espresso. Um, you could use as many shots as you want. You can use two shots. You can use um, regular coffee if you like, pour some coffee in there. I prefer it with um, espresso. So I'm going to make my shot of espresso and I'll show you how I assemble my chai tea latte. So brew your shot of espresso or coffee to your choice taste. You could use any kind. Today I'm using one called Volteso from Nespresso. You guys know I love Nespresso. So let's start by putting our ice. I use these really big square ice cubes. You can use as much ice as you like. For me, this is enough. So two large ice cubes. Two large ice cubes. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour the concentrate 
like I said, the direction says um, half concentrate, half milk, and it says three fourths cup is a serving. So I have three fourths cup of chai tea latte concentrate or chai tea concentrate. Then we have our almond milk, and this is unsweetened almond milk. You can use sweetened. This is already sweetened, so just make sure um, if you don't like things too sweet that you're careful with the sugar sweetness of it. Um, so I'm using unsweetened um, almond milk. I always make a little mess, but that's okay. Next, we have our shot of espresso. And this is where the magic happens. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at that. Look at that beautiful colors and layers. And that's it. You just have to mix it up. And I have this fancy little spoon I bought, which I love to use to mix it all up. You just mix it all up. Don't forget your straw. And there you have it. Nice, refreshing, cold, dirty chai tea latte. Let's taste it now. Ooh, that's really good. It's not too sweet, but actually I think I need a little more concentrate. And you could play around with the proportions. You could have more milk, more concentrate, more coffee. Whatever you want. You could even sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg or any other spice that you like. Oh, that is so good. So there you have it. Dirty chai tea latte. So hope you enjoyed this recipe. Hope you have been enjoying these videos and make sure you stick around, subscribe and keep watching for more videos on coffee recipes, how to reviews and all things from the wonderful world of coffee. See you all next week.